Hey guys, Ray2D179 here, and today I will be showing you guys a redstone tutorial on my super stone generator. Now, this thing does exactly what you would think it does. It generates stone at a very fast rate. Um, so, if I just break what I have here and I turn on the lever, you will see that it immediately starts generating stone at a very fast rate. Um, I had this obsidian here stopping it from going out further, but if I were to break that and let it go, it you would see that it goes up to 13 blocks, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And that's 13 stone right there, and that's because that is the limit for pistons. They can't um, push blocks any farther. So, yeah, um, the reason, uh, another thing, whoa, that water. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, but one thing you notice about this machine immediately is that it's quite loud. I have my volume at 10% right now because of how loud this machine is. And the reason for that is down here we have a bunch of blocks constantly being shuffled around. And that's what's causing this to be very, very loud. So, yeah, just be, just, just be knowledge about that stuff. Yeah. So, let's get into building this thing. Um... So first, what we're gonna need, we're gonna need our supplies. So we're gonna need redstone torches, redstone repeaters, the usual three, um, sticky pistons, normal pistons, building blocks, a uh, bucket of water, bucket of lava, glass, um, a lever for the input, uh, an immovable block. I recommend obsidian, a slab of any kind, and a pressure plate, which we'll be using at the end to show you something cool if you want to try this out. Um, but our wolves for today is the red block for the input and the blue block for the bl block cycle in the bottom, lime block for the deactivation circuit, and yellow for the directional change at the top. So, um, on your screen now you should see the exact, whoops, I did not mean to push F5. Um, you should see the exact numbers on your screen of what you're going to need for all of these items, um, just so you know the pinpoint numbers to build it with. So yeah. That's what you need. I keep pushing F5. Stop. Okay, so the area you're going to need to build this is going to be 7 by 7, um, and then the 8 tall, 8 tall. So it's relatively small, but it's still, you know, big enough, big enough. Uh, but so when you have a 7 by 7 area, there's a perfect middle. You're going to go ahead and find that perfect middle and place a block on it. Torch on top of that block, um, and then you want to surround that block uh, surround that torch, I mean, with blocks. So, like that. And then we want to place a final block on top of the torch. So now it's in a capsule. So then we want to place a normal piston facing upwards on top of that, which will become powered by the torch. Now it's in a fancy capsule. So now we are going to put glass blocks here and here. These have to be glass blocks, but any glass block that I use um, from now on, you get to. Whoa, that's on fire. Uh. Any glass block that I use from now on, you will be able to substitute it for a normal block. I'll talk about that when I start using them. So now what we're going to want to do is have normal pistons facing inwards one block away from the center on all four sides. So if that doesn't make sense to you, you'll see what I mean when I finish doing this. So like that. And then the last one, right like that. Alright, so like that. Four pistons around the edges facing inwards. These two will have glass in front of them. Um, so yeah, now we're going to have to build in the circuit that makes these things fire. So, we're going to have to put a block on top of each of these four pistons, um, and then in between the two blocks, we ha we're going to make, a, like, corners, I guess, of a square. That makes sense when you see it. Alright, so that's what it looks like. Now what we're going to need to do is place blocks in the slots, like, in between where the, where the, blocks are all placed we're gonna place um, more blocks that are one block lower so essentially two blocks on each side of every piston so now once we have this kind of pattern going on here uh, we want to place repeaters um, in these lower areas all on one tick in a counterclockwise direction and that will make us a nice loop and now all we need to do is power it so before we do we're gonna also want to add a, another layer of inwards facing normal pistons on top of the four outer blocks so like that. All right, finally, we're getting to building the input for this. So grab our red and our lever. So, okay, come over to any corner. I don't think it, it shouldn't matter, um, but I'm just using this one because that's how it is over there. Block on top, lever on top of that. That's going to be your input. In front of that, two blocks, redstone on each of them. 
then we are going to have a block coming down out of that on four ticks that's going into an upwards facing sticky piston uh, with a block on top uh, whoops there we go on the other side of this piston we have a normal repeater on one tick and that goes into a block on the other side of that block we have a redstone dot as the full mechanism and if we turn this on we will see that these four pistons will start shuffling the blocks in the bottom these four will fire every once in a while and this one in the middle will fire every now and then as well so you will see there's an error if I turn off the lever it doesn't turn itself off we have to break a repeater and turn it off manually we will fix that with the green circuit though so don't worry about that um, now one thing that's very important that I almost just missed by accident is that we're going to have to put in a movable block behind all of these four upper pistons this is a very important part the entire machine will crash if you like don't do it so yeah just make sure you have the blocks behind those and we can get on to the next part so next we are going to want to uh, put glass blocks all around uh, this piston and as I said before all the glass blocks that I'm using from now on you can substitute all of these with a normal solid building block I just think it looks cooler when you can see the water and lava so that's just me uh, but you can substitute all of this for solid blocks. The only two that have to be glass are the two in the bottom that get shuffled around. So yeah. What we're going to need to do now is basically like plug this up here. So it can't get out when we place the water inside. Because we all know how well water and redstone get along. So yeah. From here, we're going to break out these four areas right here and place water on the corners. It should not flow over the middle. I don't know why. Minecraft is weird with its physics. Next, we've got to place the lava. So, glass block on top of each of these. Again, you don't have to use glass. On top of these four inward-facing pistons. Then we want to completely cover the water up. So, just do that. And then, on top, we're going to break out a plus sign in the middle. And then place the lava in the four sides of it, like so. Oh, snap. Oh, that's not going to be good. That's not going to be good. Oh, snap. Okay, good. It wasn't that bad. All right, so one here. All right, it doesn't matter if it flows over the middle because now, if we press our lever, it's going to start generating stone up into the sky until it's random cobblestone in there. Um, all the way up until it's uh, at the max piston limit thing. So, remember, oh wait, snap, <laughs> if we turn off the lever, it's not going to turn off the machine, so we have to, oh no, I broke it, didn't I? Um, I'm going to fix this, don't do that, I'll get right back to you guys. Okay guys, I'm back, we have fixed the technical difficulty, don't do that, it'll mess up your machine. Like I said, if you don't have this removable block, that'll happen, um, but, sorry, I accidentally misclicked there, um, I don't know why that happened, but as I said, well, as I was saying before, we are going to want to remove the repeater and place it back to stop the machine. Um, and if you don't mind removing that repeater and placing it back every time you want to turn off the machine, go ahead. You're done. Uh, that's all you need to do. And you can have endless stone as high as you want. Um, and the only thing you'll have to do is take off that repeater every time you want to turn off the machine. But I am going to go ahead and suppose that most of you are watching this because you're too lazy to get stone, so why should you have to bother with breaking a repeater every time? Well, the answer to that question is the lime wool here, so let's go ahead and build that circuit. So next to our input right here, we're going to want to place a block down like this, uh, redstone on that, actually, and then two blocks over, we're going to place repeater, repeater, both facing the same direction on one tick. A uh, block in front of those repeaters, and that goes into redstone dot. Redstone dot goes into a block. And then on the other side of this block, we have a repeater, and then two more blocks like that. Another repeater, redstone. That redstone goes into a block with a torch on top like that. Then once you get to this corner, punch it out, then place a downwards facing sticky piston next to the torch, and place the blue block back on that right there so now basically what will happen is when the lever is turned off for like whenever it's turned off this torch will be on this piston will be extended cutting off the loop so basically we have a mechanism now to turn it off it um has some delay getting there because of the repeaters uh but it gets there in enough time so when we want to turn it off we can just stop it like that it'll generate one more stone from the time we turn off the lever but that that's okay um so yeah now if you have it 
all turned off and works now and your laziness has been fulfilled, you can go ahead and stop watching, but not only are we lazy, but we're fancy. So we're going to make this even fancier by adding a piston like that. So I'm basically just going to show you guys how to make it so that it works like that one over there with the yellow circuit. So if you're not fancy and you're not, not cool because you're not fancy, then you could just go ahead and stop watching now. But I'm a fancy person, so I made it fancy. So this makes it even easier for us to get the stone because all we have to do is flip the lever on, stand right here, and whack the stone away with our pickaxes. So laziness and fanciness all in one package. Could it get any better? All right. Let's get our yellow wool out here and place um, a redstone dot on this corner of the loop, this blue block right here. And then we're going to have to have some um, epic mouse clicking skills here to quickly replace this block here with a slab without letting the water fall into that unsuspecting repeater right there. Um, but yeah, if you don't have the mouse clicking skills, I'm sorry, you're going to have to deal with replacing a couple of things um, because you're just not as skilled as I am. Um, but yeah, we're going to want to link redstone all the way up here, then put it on the top like this, then slab behind the piston, redstone on that. And here's where it gets a little bit funky. Um, block, redstone, uh, slab, redstone, block, redstone, block, repeater on one sec. So just like that. So now this piston is going to activate every time the loop comes around. But since we have four different cells generating stone at the same time, um, that's not going to be fast enough to get it out efficiently as it is over there. So we're going to also want to link stuff from over here too. So place a redstone on that corner. It doesn't matter that it connects right there. Then use your epic mouse clicking skills to quickly replace a couple of blocks that I'm doing right here um, with normal ones that aren't glass. And we can place a redstone on those. Then from over here, we're going to want to place two slabs like this and then redstone on those two. So yeah, that's the whole design finished, and if we flick our lever on, it'll start generating stone, and the piston will push it over for us to be super lazy and super fancy, get our stone, it'll just keep coming for us, and in case none of you have figured it out already, which you probably haven't, um, the pressure plate is for this nifty little thing that I figured out. If you replace the lever with a pressure plate, and you have this in your survival world, you walk up to here with a piss, uh, pickaxe, sorry, um, you stand on the pressure plate, break the stone, keep breaking it till you have an adequate amount, step off the pressure plate, now it's stopped making noise for you, and you have all the stone you need. And that's just a cool thing that you can do with the pressure plate, and that's why I have the obsidian block here so it doesn't go way out there when I'm trying to keep up with it right here. So, yeah, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this design. I hope you will use it to get loads and loads of stone. I hope you, and, like, if you guys are still watching this video, I commend you. You're awesome, lazy, and fancy. Like, that's awesome. Okay. So, anyway, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the design. If you have, a rating would be much appreciated. Also, if you really enjoy the channel, why not subscribe? Um, also, leave your comments and questions down in the comment section below. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. So, until next time, I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.